Today's video is all about designer bags that I'm currently lusting over. As someone who's passionate about fashion, I think that a designer bag can take your look to the next level. From classic to trendy, I've rounded up the best designer bags that I'm loving that have been added to my wish list. So grab your favorite drink, sit back, and let's dive into my list. The first designer handbag from Ferragamo that I'm currently loving is the iconic top handle. Now, this isn't anything new to y'all, but the color is new because I've never shown y'all this one. And this is the green color. I absolutely love this one. It's beautiful. It's like, I don't know, I just really hope that the green is like this. More like a teal green rather than like a Kelly green. It looks slightly Kelly green, but it's kind of cross between Kelly and Till. It's really nice, really structured. Y'all know how I feel about structured bags. It has gold hardware. The only thing I'm griping over is that little divider down the middle, which I really don't like, but I'll deal with it. I love the color of it. And I feel like I can still fit my essentials in it, even with that. It is beautiful. The white one's really nice too. It comes in so many different colors. This beautiful yellow color is nice. And then they have red if you want that, like this velvet color. I didn't even know they had red velvet. It's really pretty. The orange is really pretty too. The sunset color. I think our Cassie Thorpe didn't get this specific bag. She got a different bag in this color scheme. That one's pretty too, but I'm not eyeing that one. I'm eyeing this green one. And it's truly my favorite color from this bag or of this bag. So. Next is another bag from Ferragamo. They've truly stepped up their game, I feel like, and they've really drawn me in. Because before, in my opinion, I feel like it was more of a classier brand, like for an older crowd, but they're really trying to appeal to younger people like me. I'm just saying. <laughs> But next on the list is the Ferragamo Gansini Johnsini small leather tote bag and it's in this gorgeous light blue color. Y'all know I've been on the hunt for the perfect shade of light blue since I sold my Fendi baguette in the light blue color, which I regret. I don't know if I want to pay the new price for it is why I haven't gotten it. I may would consider the mini size if they have it in that color. I don't even know if they do or not. I don't even know if they have that color in general. But this bag is beautiful. It looks to be the perfect shade of light blue. If I see it in person, it's not like this, I'm gonna be pissed. But this has silver hardware, which I feel is perfect for light blue. And it is a patent leather finish. It's the perfect shape and structure again. It's very similar to the one I just showed you, except it has more of an east to west vibe, which is really nice. I just really like this bag. I feel like it's really nice. And it also has a divider down the middle. Again, I feel like it wouldn't affect my essentials and being able to fit everything I needed in there, but it's still kind of annoying having it there to begin with. Let me divide my own things. I can buy an interior divider. Don't block my storage capabilities by putting a divider in there. Some people may disagree, but I feel like if it was a bigger bag, it would be more acceptable. But yeah, I feel like because it's a smaller bag, it just kind of, they just kind of, they just kind of, no. Speaking of Fendi, actually the next bag I have on my list is from them and I have the mini baguette in green on here. Now, as you know, I have a mini baguette. I have a traditional size baguette, but I do not have a mini baguette just yet. Y'all know my story about the hot pink that I let get away from the Nicki Minaj, the Nicki Minaj collection. But you could possibly redeem yourself with this one. But it's this gorgeous green. It looks exactly like this in person. I saw it in the market, so I was like, oh, I can't get it right now. It's not in my budget. But I'm coming back for you and hope you're still there. It's you. If it's meant to be, I feel like it will be but this green is absolutely beautiful. It's like this nice pistachio color. It's very similar to the color of my Bronco. It's really, really nice. It has an interior car slot. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think I talked about this bag in my favorite green bags. That's why this seems kind of familiar. It feels like I did this video already, but I talked about this bag also in that video of my favorite green designer bags. But the, gr the gold hardware is perfect with this. There's also this shade of like this acid green color but i kind of have a bag similar in that color not that you have not, not that you have not you what the hell are you talking about not that you damn i can't talk not that you can't have too many green bags but i'm just saying but i have something similar to that already but this mint pistachio color is really calling my name um it's just absolutely beautiful and it it looks like the perfect color of mint Next on my list from Givenchy, and this is the Givenchy small 4G ombre denim shoulder bag. 
I've passed this bag up twice in Neiman Marcus at this point, and I'm showing you the Bergdorf Goodman website, which y'all know is the same, one and the same company, basically two different stores. But I passed this bag up twice, and it caught my attention twice. Like I passed by it, and I went back to it, and I was like, oh my God, this is beautiful in person, and it truly is. I don't really wear my denim bags too much, to be honest with you, because you kind of have to be strategic in what you wear them with, but this bag is one I would love to add to my collection. I love the gold chains. I love the strap. I love the closure at the front of it. I love the back pocket. I love the fact that you can, or how you can wear it. I can throw it over your shoulder. I love the fact that it does not have a divider in the middle. It's a wide open space to put whatever my heart desires in there. It's just absolutely beautiful. Also has a longer strap for crossbody. That's denim too. And I would guess that is lined with leather on the inside because denim strap would be kind of, you know, kind of like, I don't know, it would be kind of dangerous, especially if you wear something that could color transfer onto the denim. It'd be a disaster. But I love this one. I love it so much. Retails for $22.90. Kind of steep for denim, but Givenchy has truly proved themselves with their quality. So I've never tried their denim, but I feel like it would be really nice. Also, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to like and subscribe in case you haven't already so you don't miss any new videos I post. Next on my list is from Mulberry and it's the Little Softy in Portobello Blue and it's there is in crinkled metallic leather. This metallic color is absolutely divine. If it looks just like this in person, oh, what a queen you will be. I love it. It's beautiful. This blue is stunning. It's stunning. And I guess that silver hardware is just genius. It looks great with it. It's like two metallics not clashing together. It has a wide open interior, interior pocket as well. I just love all the details of this little bag. The one gripe I have is this silver chain strap. I'm not really a fan. I don't really like bags that have strictly chains. I feel like that elevates the bag a little too much for me. Y'all know I dress more casually, so I don't know. I still think I could make it work, but I don't know if, like if I wear it without, you know, with a shirt without sleeves or something where it's touching my skin and I'm sweating, if that would tarnish the strap. That's the only grip I find. One of the only grips I find about having chain straps, you know, is not real silver. So what happens? If that happens, you know. Next, y'all know this isn't a brand I normally talk about a whole lot because they don't really have anything I really like. They do now. Two bags, actually. I'm gonna start with one of them. This is the small, or from Dior, the small Dior travel vanity case in gray canage lambskin. So it's the perfect shade of gray. It's a beautiful gray color. Y'all know how I feel about gray. Can be kind of wishy-washy as far as I'm concerned because grays are kind of, you know, tricky on my skin complexion. But I feel this is perfect. It's like it has a slight green tint to it, sort of. Kind of like a camo gray sort of color. But it looks like it has rose gold hardware. Let me quickly look and see description. It doesn't really say if it's rose gold or not, but it certainly looks rose gold. If it is, genius. I think it looks great for gray. Um, It might very well be gold too. But it has, looks like some sort of, let's see what that says. It doesn't really say what the interior is. It looks like some sort of velvet or felt material, which is nice. I would certainly rock this as a bag. It would not be a vanity case. And I will rock it as a bag because it has a longer crossbody strap. It's not a bag that I have to add a chain to it. Prior to them putting these chains or these straps on these bags, it used to just be a carrying case. It's so genius for them to put the strap on there. And I still feel like Dior bags are all sorely overpriced. See, zoomed in, it looks more gold, and it looks like it does have a green tint. I think it's or a green tint. It looks beautiful. Um, oh, I love that Dior bracelet she's wearing. Oh my gosh, it's my first time seeing that. Ooh. Anyway, I feel like Dior bags are sorely overpriced. This retails, I think, $3,000 right now. That's kind of ridiculous, but I feel like if you want a designer bag from one of these brands, you're gonna pay for it, you know? This is what it is. Number eight, another bag from Dior. And it might surprise some of you, but others it may not. Traditionally, I haven't really liked mini bags with this oblique print. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, boy. But this bag is also from Dior, and it is the Dior Club bag. However, it's in the Blue Dior Oblique Jacquard. They have it in black too, I don't really like that one. This one is where it's at. Now, y'all know I love bags that you basically can't fit much in. <laughs> That's just my style. It still works for me even being a mom. 
but I love this. I love the leather strap. I love the gold hardware. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like the perfect shape and it's a wide opening. It looks like it would fit a card holder and all of that. That's really all I need to fit, okay? I don't need to fit much more. Keys, card holder, gum, hand wipes, that's it. I can carry my phone in my hand. I usually do anyway. It has, it kind of slouches inward. So obviously if you put too much in the middle, it's not gonna do that. It's gonna be straight. That's not the way I plan on wearing it. I definitely plan on wearing it more slouchy. So I'm gonna put my bigger things to the side, but this retails for 2,900. It's ridiculous for oblique. It's, for, it's ridiculous for fabric, ridiculous for this size. But we've come to know that with Dior, that's what they do, that's the way they do it, whatever. But I still love it nonetheless. And wish list. Next from Bamon. I don't typically have anything from Bob on my wish list, but this bag really spoke to me. It's another bag I spotted in Neiman Marcus during my stroll through there with my daughter. But this is the 1945 quilted leather shoulder bag in red. Yes, I just got a Moschino red heart bag, but I feel like I'm still kind of missing a red regular bag that's not heart. I don't know. Gold hardware. I will not be paying $16.95 as Bob Mon. It will go and sell. I know it will. But I love the quilting of this. It has their, their quilted pattern on it that they normally have with their logo. Why does this say Burberry? That's not Burberry. They made a mistake with that. I'm supposed to be talking about Moschino. Anyway, this is what the bag looks like. It has kind of like a leather chain going on. But the thing about the strap on the shoulder, it has leather. That's the part that has leather. And then the rest of it has just uh, metal going down the sides wide open an interior pocket it's not a bag that i would pay full price for okay i just wouldn't even those below the two thousand dollar uh, price point is still by mom so uh-uh it's not a bag i'll pay full price for them. i still really like it let me see if i can click the black color not that i'm interested in black but i want to see details about the bag they made a mistake with the red when they talked about burberry okay it's not loading forget it let's move on <laughs> Not wasting that much time. Okay, next bag. It's from Jacquemus. And this shouldn't surprise you. I think I might have talked to you about this bag. This is the Jacquemus Leather La Bambino Long Shoulder Bag. Full leather, no suede, no felt, anything like that is leather, full on leather. Still at a great price point, $6.94 on Harrods. And I think if you get it within the US, it's like $7.90 at Bergdorf. So great price point. This is what it looks like. That shade of purple is absolutely gorgeous. It's perfection, it's perfection. Only thing, if you need a longer strap, other than wearing it on your shoulder, you're not gonna get one. It doesn't come with one. It's only one strap. One back pointless pocket. You can't fit credit card or anything unless you stand it up, which is dangerous. Somebody could snap that out of there. Or snag it out of there, you know? But that purple is to die for. I have not seen any other handbags that shade of purple. It's absolutely beautiful. Smooth leather too. Oh, it's beautiful with that gold hardware. Oh my gosh. OMG. If I were going, this video is going to be posted long after the game. If I were going to the Final Four game for LSU, I would wear this bag. I just would. I would wear this bag. It's beautiful. And this is from Jacques Mousse as well. It's the Le Chiquito Node Coil Top Handle Bag. And this comes in navy. I don't have any navy designer bags, and I love this one. It's like a velvet too. Or not velvet, but like, um, what materials? This always mix it up. Calf leather. But it's like um felt not felt but it's more like a velvety texture it's not smooth leather like i just showed you but i don't mind that for this color because it's a beautiful color but it's slightly bigger than the little chiquito and it's smaller than the look chiquito grand um that i had which was way too big i ended up selling it it was not the vibe this is like a cross in between it it's not as ridiculous as the little chiquito mini but it's not as extreme as the bigger version i feel like it's a nice happy medium between the two this one does come in different colors. I was just drawn towards the navy, not having any colors like this in my collection. And I love the little loop handle. I think that's cute. And if you want a longer strap, let's sample. My bag might not say sample in there. Giacomo sample, not for sale. Why is that? Why did they take the picture with that? I wonder if you receive one that looks like that. I better not order one from them, from uh, Bergdorf, just in case. Anyway, it comes with a longer strap too if you want to wear it crossbody, which is cool. Let me know in the comments which bag was your favorite and if there are any others that you are less than over. I hope you found some inspiration for your own wish list. That wraps up my list of designer bags that I'm currently coveting. 
I will leave another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Talk soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.